15 first alert weather forecast. Visibility is looking pretty good around the area at this hour tonight, but that is expected to change for at least some locations through the overnight hours as yet again we are expecting the development of some areas of fog that could be locally dense and will carry right through tomorrow morning. Now, secondly, I do want you to take note of where we are expected to start out tomorrow morning. Notice temperatures are going to be just below the freezing point. Should that be the case, uh, we certainly could see some areas of freezing fog uh, that could lead to some slick spots. So just be mindful of that. Otherwise, we are going to start out tomorrow in the clouds, but by later on in the day, I do expect a clearing trend, some breaks in the cloud cover, and therefore, finally, we are going to see some peaks of sunshine. And with enough of that sun, we are going to top out at around 38. Otherwise, for tonight, our current temperature in Eau Claire, right around the freezing mark. We're under a cloudy sky, north wind at 5 miles per hour, and our dew point is at 29 degrees. Uh, so the air is very saturated. And if we don't see the dew point drop too much more from where it is currently, which I don't anticipate that to be the case, this is kind of an indicator of where our low temperature uh, may be limited to for tonight. Otherwise, across the state, we do have readings mostly hanging out into the low and mid 30s, 36 right now in Green Bay, 34 in Wausau, 34 in La Crosse, 33 right now and Prairie uh, du Chien. Throughout the winter season, you've heard us talk a lot about the strong El Nino pattern that has been really prevailing throughout the season uh, thus far. Typically in an El Nino year, you expect above average temperatures, below average snowfall. That certainly rang true, especially in the month of December, where we did record our warmest December on record in Eau Claire, coming in with an average temperature of 33.2 degrees. But I do want to first alert you to the fact that right now we're also on pace to see our least snowiest winter on record in Eau Claire. Before I get into some of the stats here, I do want you to keep in mind, yes, we have plenty of winter to go. So we very well could see a few more snowstorms. And if, if they're good snowstorms, then we're going to be knocked out of the top spot, perhaps out of the top five altogether. But should that not be the case, we're actually looking at the top spot for, again, the least snowiest uh, winter on record. Our season total is 11.9 inches so far for the season. Our average season snowfall, 55 and a half inches. And on average, we average snowfall from October all the way into May. So that total average accounts for all of those months. And like I said, we still have a couple of months of winter to go. This could very well change, but as it stands right now, uh, this is pretty impressive and just goes to show the kind of pattern that we have been in. Off to our northwest, we have an area of high pressure, some clearing, but I do believe the cloud cover is going to hang on here in western Wisconsin. It's going to stay overcast overnight. Again, those areas of fog going into tomorrow morning uh, could still have some patchy fog. We'll stay in the clouds, but watch what happens. By the afternoon, we start to see some of those breaks developing, more so in the Chippewa Valley. I think we're going to stay mostly cloudy the further south you get. I think tomorrow night this is being overdone by SkyCast. We do look to have a partly cloudy sky. We'll start out Monday with some sunshine, despite the forecast model here showing cloud cover. And then that cloud cover does start to increase Monday afternoon out ahead of a clipper type low pressure system. And that will start to bring in some rain and wet snow showers as we do head into Monday night. So for tonight with the cloud cover, I did move up our low temperature just a couple degrees, 29 is where we are going to fall. Our dew point is right there as well. We're at 38 degrees tomorrow, 42 on Monday. As we get behind that weather maker into Tuesday, temperatures briefly drop to around 37. Otherwise, from there, we're quickly back into the 40s and a good deal of sunshine as well. I'm definitely excited for those 40s again. And the sun, because it's been uh, quite a while since we've seen it. <laughs> yes, for sure. Thanks so mm -hmm. much, Derek.